Welcome to the Kansas Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admission Officers Virtual College Fair. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so please be sure to sign up for additional sessions. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at strivescan.com slash Kansas. And now I'd like to turn it over to our presenters. And up first is Friends University. Hi all, my name is Anna Prophet and I am an admissions counselor here at Friends University. Um, I am just going to share my screen really quickly. Oh, looks like it is sharing. Um, so this first one right here is just a um, quick view of Friends University. Um, and to the right, you'll see Davis Hall. This is where our admissions and financial aid offices are located. And of course, there's our track and updated football turf. So just a couple of quick facts here about Friends University. Um, we do have around eight to 900 undergraduate students here at Friends University, founded in 1898. Um, we were um, an independent Quaker heritage, but now we are non-denominational. Um, we have a really great student faculty ratio. Um, some of your Gen Ed classes, you might see around 30 students, but when you actually get um, to your main classes, you'll see more of about, oh, I would say anywhere from as little as five up to about maybe 10 students. Some programs that we do offer here, here's just a list of some of the really popular ones. Our elementary education program is popular. Cybersecurity is definitely a really cool one that we have. Um, health science, so if you're interested in being a doctor, physical therapist, um, a lot of our students do that. Um, and our most popular major is zoo science. So this is a really cool degree because we are one of only about, oh, about three or four um, zoo science programs here in the United States. Um, something really cool about our program is that we do get to work hands-on with the animals. Um, so here at the Sedgwick County Zoo, um, our zoo science majors do a lot of internships there. And they also work at Tanganyika, which is like a hands-on wildlife habitat. We do offer um, some master's programs as well. Um, so it is really nice because a lot of our students, they complete their undergraduate here and then they go on to get their master's here. Um, there's something called like a four plus one program where um, you can complete an undergraduate and a master's um, in five years. And if you are looking to, to take classes online, maybe you don't want to do the traditional route, maybe you have a job during the day. Um, we also do offer a lot of um, classes either at night or online that you can take to complete a undergraduate degree as well. We do have some really nice um, apartments and housing here at Friends University. Um, we are ranked number one in the state of Kansas for undergraduate housing and I believe 23rd in the nation um, when it comes to housing. We do require freshmen that are not from the Wichita area to live in the dorms that first year, but then your sophomore, junior, senior year, you can choose to live um, in the apartments on campus or off campus as well. One big perk about Friends University is that every student that comes to Friends University will receive an academic scholarship. Um, and that this year is based on the your GPA. Um, so you'll send us your transcripts, we'll look at your GPA and then see what you qualify for. Um, we used to require the ACT and the SAT, but due to COVID, um, they are waiving that requirement. So when it comes to freshmen, they can receive anywhere between $5,000 and $12,000 in academic scholarships. Some other scholarships as well. Um, about 60% of our students um, participate in athletics here at Friends University. Um, so it is very, um, very important to have that community where people support each other just in athletics. Fine arts is also incredibly popular here as well. Um, most of our athletic students participate somehow in fine arts. Um, the really nice thing is you can also receive really good scholarships for these as well. Um, we do offer some other scholarships as well. Um, if you participate in Young Life, if you go to the Summit Ministries Conference, um, if you are not an athlete but are from like the Midwest area, you can receive a scholarship for that too. And then of course, financial aid. I always try to 
um, emphasis before important to fill out the FAFSA each year. Um, with the FAFSA, um, you'll be eligible for different types of grants and different types of loans. Um, so if you do have questions more about financial aid, our financial aid um, representatives will be more than willing to help you or even walk you through filling out the FAFSA. Thanks guys, I appreciate your time. If you have any questions, just please let me know. Um, my email is annaprofit at friends.edu. Great, thank you so much. And next up is St. Leo University. Awesome, thank you so much, Matt. I'm just gonna share my screen with you all. Awesome, well, thank you everyone for taking some time out of your morning um, to learn about all these great institutions. Today, I am representing St. Leo University, which is located in Tampa Bay, Florida. So if you're looking to get out of that chillier weather, definitely come on south. We would love to have you in the Sunshine State. My name is Connor Schaefer, and I'm a Senior Assistant Director here at St. Leo University. I am actually also a proud alumni of St. Leo. Um, I went to St. Leo from the Northeast, from New Jersey. So if you are looking to go out of state for college, I completely understand what it is like to do that. My information and, con or I should say my contact information is listed at the bottom of the screen. So if you ever have questions, um, definitely do not hesitate to reach out or give me a call by phone or shoot me an email. So what is St. Leo all about? St. Leo University was established in 1889, and we are actually the oldest Catholic institution in the state of Florida. We're the second largest Catholic institution in the country, serving over 20,000 students worldwide. So it's really cool because you get that small classroom environment, but at the end of the day, you're gonna have a larger networking system and some of the resources you might receive at a larger university. Now, if you visit campus tomorrow, you are going to say, Connor, I do not see 20,000 students on this campus, and you are 100% correct. So on our main campus in Tampa Bay, we roughly have about 3,000 undergraduate students. We also have 15 different education centers in the United States and also a very large online program as well. St. Leo is currently ranked number four in the South for best value, so you know you're going to get a great education out of your investment. If you are worried or your parents are worried about going out of state for college and you just want to make sure you are in a safe location, St. Leo actually is the safest college in the state of Florida, and we're actually number seven in the nation, so you never have to worry about safety. It is a very simple application process. We are um, on the common application and we also have a free application through our website. St. Leo's been test optional. So if you are a freshman, sophomore or junior watching this presentation, do not worry. We will still be test optional when you decide to apply to St. Leo. We have over 50 different academic programs on our main campus. Some of our popular majors are criminal justice, our biologies, education, computer science or sports business. All of our majors are really hands-on, so we definitely push students to have internships and take the skills they learn in the classroom and apply those in their real-life internships. We also have an honors program and different accelerated degree programs, including our three plus one programs where you get an undergraduate bachelor's in three years and a master's in one. We also have our three plus three pathway to law school where you'll have your bachelor's in three years at St. Leo and then you'll continue to law school either at Barry University down in Miami or Florida State University up in Tallahassee. St. Leo is thriving in the medical fields. We actually just added this past year a health education and health promotions major. And this coming fall, we're super excited to announce we will be launching our nursing program. We also have scholarships for first time in college students ranging anywhere from $10,000 all the way up to $14,000. And at the bottom of your screen, you can kind of get an idea of our student population. We do have over 100 different countries represented on campus and 44 different states. So I always said as a student, if you're bored on campus, it's truly just because you're not taking advantage of what the university has to offer. For students that do want to get a little more invested in their faith, we do have a strong campus ministry and we do offer daily mass for students. We are NCAA Division II Athletics, a part of the Sunshine State Conference with over 22 different athletic programs. We actually have one of the strongest overall athletic Division II programs in the nation. So if you are looking to be a student athlete, I highly recommend filling out a recruiter form on our website. We also have over 70 different clubs and organizations, including Greek Life, Esports, and Murals, and the list goes on and on. 
One thing that I really loved about going to St. Leo, especially being from out of state, was the off-campus trips. So we sponsor um, small trips all the way from going just to Walmart or the local shopping center, but we also sponsor other trips that might include going to Disney for only 20 20 bucks or Universal or any of the Orlando parks. We also bring our students on a wide variety of different things. If you're interested in sports, we'll bring you to the Tampa Bay Lightning, the Tampa Bay Rays, and actually the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who we are actually the proud executive education partnership, who and they just won the Super Bowl. So you can't go wrong with that. So very exciting time to be in the Tampa Bay area. We are a residential campus with over 14 different residential halls and some of our apartment building styles were actually ranked number in the top 10 college residence halls in the nation. We are about 30 minutes north from Tampa downtown and about an hour west from Orlando. So you know you're gonna get a great location or two great cities no matter which direction you go. I always said it's not St. Leo if there's not something new happening on campus. So this past year we did open our Benedict's Coffee House that serves Starbucks products. At the bottom right corner of your screen, you can see our brand new wellness center will be that will be opening this coming fall. So if you thought you were going to a resort for college already, this facility will make it feel even more like a resort. A fun fact about this building, it will actually have the largest infinity pool at a university in the state of Florida. Again, here is my contact information. If you have any lingering questions from this presentation today, feel free to ask any questions in the Q&A. St. Leo is open for tours, and we do actually have a virtual tour on our website. This coming fall, we will be open full time, and we're excited to get you down to Florida. Thank you so much for learning about St. Leo University, located in Tampa Bay, Florida. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks so much. Uh, next up is WSU Tech. Thanks, Matt. I'm gonna go ahead and get my screen share pulled up here. My name is Cody. I'm the high school recruiter here at WSU Tech. And I wanna to talk to you guys just a little bit about some of the things that our college can offer. So I hope that everybody is able to see my full screen um, and we'll go ahead and get started. Um, here at WSU Tech, a little bit about us. First off, uh, we need to make sure that you're following us on social media platforms because we're gonna have a lot of information that we're gonna to cover today. And if you're following us on social, that's a way to make sure that you're never missing anything that we're talking about. Um, so we really strive to get students into a high tech, high wage, high demand career pipeline. And the way that we do that is by partnering with local employers and national employers to equip people with the relevant skills that they're gonna need in order to get started with that job, not only today, but also for the jobs of tomorrow. Uh, we're a technical school that offers, um, you know, state of the art facilities and equipment education and training facilities so that you really get uh, some of the best opportunities to learn in the environment. Um, have over 75 programs and I'm not going to be able to go through all of them today. I'm just going to briefly touch on a couple of them and hopefully get you an understanding of what our campuses look like. But you can complete programs with us in as little as one semester, or we can build up to an associate's degree that's going to take you uh, up to four semesters to complete. But it's not just the, the technical skill or technical training. We also have transfer options that can lead you to a bachelor's degree if that's something that you're interested in. And so I'm going to let our marketing department tell you a little bit about that. Take the Shocker Pathway and earn Wichita's most convenient associate's degree. This prestigious two-year course of study is offered by WSU Tech in partnership with Wichita State University. The Shocker Pathway starts at WSU Tech and is completed at Wichita State University. It's an affordable degree program with all classes taught in Wichita or online. Visit wsutech.edu to get started. Shocker Pathway classes begin soon. So because of our partnership at Wichita State University, students also have an opportunity to participate in student life there at WSU. So that's the Shocker Experience Program, and that'll give you an opportunity to, uh, you know, get all of the traditional colleges experience like living in the dorms, going to games, athletic events, um, all of the, like I said, traditional things that you would get at a, at a four year institution. You have an opportunity to do that with us while earning a trade or learning a trade skill. This is our National Center for Aviation Training housed here in Wichita. Uh, this is where we have our aviation and manufacturing programs. If you've never had a chance to come and tour our campus, 
please make sure that you're copying my contact information at the end of this presentation because I we are welcoming students on campus for visits and I would love to show you the offer or show you the the things that we offer with our aviation maintenance technology program in our hangar where we have 10 airplanes and a helicopter or our Haas sponsored showroom where we have three axis and five axis CNC machines. This is our city center campus where we uh, have all of our skilled trade uh, and that's going to include the programs that you see uh, automotive service, uh, industrial automation, machine maintenance, construction science, the list goes on. But this campus, one of the things that's special about this campus is this is where most of our applied learning uh, opportunities are going to come from. And so each one of the programs that you see on the screen right now offers an applied learning opportunity. That's an internship or an apprenticeship, which gives you an opportunity to earn and learn at the same time. Our Old Town campus focusing in healthcare. This is where we train all of our short term nursing programs like certified nurse aid, certified med aid, home health aid, as well as our practical nurse and surgical technologies program. Our surgical technologies program has 100% job placement and 100% board pass over the last four cohorts that they have put out. So everybody that's going through that program is leaving that program ready for a job and is actually securing a job over the next six weeks. Um, we also can support you in, you know, uh, uh, additional pre-med or uh, pre, uh, I'm sorry, medical areas or study. Um, so if you're interested uh, in a, a pre-med field, we can help you with your biology, your chemistry, anatomy, and physiology, just to name a few. This is our WSU South campus. And at this campus, we are uh, focused on all of our general education classes, as well as our business courses and healthcare campus or classes that aren't taught at the Old Town campus. Uh, this campus used to be the old Wichita Mall, but it's been recently renovated. And we've been in this space now for uh, going on our second year. Um, and so this campus is a, a phenomenal place with uh, lots of little nooks and crannies and places that you can go for studying, or maybe you want to, uh, you know, hang out in between classes and, and, you know, game with a couple of your friends in our eSports hub. Um, each one of our campuses has a unique feel. And so I would welcome you to, to come to campus and, and get a feel for yourself. Um, getting started here at WSU Tech's incredibly, incredibly easy. We're an open admittance college, so there's no ACT or SAT that you have to provide. Um, we're not gonna ask you, uh, you know, what level of math you've gone through in high school or anything like that. You apply, you get in. It's also a free application. Um, so after you get done with that application, the next thing that you need to do is reach out to uh, an admissions counselor like myself or any of uh, the staff that's located on our website and, and we can help you walk through this process. Um, I'll make sure that I'm checking the Q&A. So if you do have any questions uh, about WSU Tech, please make sure that you're utilizing the chat feature and you're engaging with us so that we can answer those for you. Thanks so much everybody for coming and I do appreciate your time. Great, thank you, Cody. Uh, next up is Hendricks College. Okay, great. I'm just going to share my screen real quick. Uh, get this pulled up. Hopefully everyone can see that. Oh, I'm not sure I have the right screen, so I'm going to pull that back out and try again because it doesn't look like it was connected. Okay, great. Hello, my name is William Roberts. I'm an admission counselor here at Hendricks College. And I just wanna thank everybody for uh, coming today uh, to hear from some of these other colleges and Hendricks as well. When I think of Hendricks, these are the things that I think of. I think of words like community, expand, challenge, experience, and innovation, and value are all key words uh, to what we want the experience to be here at Hendricks. First, let's focus on that idea of community. Hendricks is a small private liberal arts college located in central Arkansas. We're located in Conway, Arkansas, and we offer a, res a residential experience for students. 95% of students live on campus all four years, and this is a really great opportunity for students to build a network um, ex expand challenge and, and grow within this network uh, of community and peers and faculty and staff 
that's so important to your experience and your opportunity to learn and grow. We have a, just over 1,100 students and a, and a student to faculty ratio of 10 to 1. Students come from 43 states and 10 different countries. So we experience, we value uh, a diversity in backgrounds, cultures, religions, traditions, all coming to campus uh, and, and having their own experiences and their own opportunity within the classroom. Hendrix is a place where we offer state-of-the-art housing uh, with new renovations in place moving into 2021, looking to really uh, expand and grow our, our campus and give students that opportunity. We're also a very active campus. We want students to network. We want students to be very involved in the programming that's available to them. We have 70 plus active organizations for students to get involved in, as well as Division Three athletics and esports. So there's a lot of great opportunities there. We also talk about the words like expanding, growing, challenging. Hendrix is uh, one of the most innovative colleges in the country, and we really want to focus on those opportunities for students. Just within the classroom, we offer engaged learning and this idea of reinventing what college looks like for students. For Hendrix, we have a combination of liberal arts curriculum in the classroom with opportunities for real world growth and experience outside of the classroom. We're not only focused on what's going on in the classroom, but also students opportunity for engagement and involvement outside of the classroom. We offer 31 majors, 33 minors, and 15 pre-professional programs to our students to uh, complete their undergraduate degree. But we also offer programs like the Odyssey program and career uh, services to students to continue that growth and engagement outside of the classroom. The Odyssey program is a program designed to further students' learning offer students the opportunity to gain practical experience and build their resume with an individualized approach. It's a program that caters to students' specific interest. These things, uh, Odyssey program can offer you opportunities like internships in a, in a dream career field or research in a field of study, studying abroad uh, in a place that you've always wanted to go to, or just learning an instrument here on campus because you wanna learn piano or, or something or, or do some other fine arts opportunity. The Odyssey program is a fully funded program that is designed to increase the amount of learning uh, on an individual basis that you have available to you. And it's a program that's a great opportunity. Not only that do we want to focus on academics outside of the classroom, but we also have a focus on 100% participation in our career services office and, gain, and, and allowing students to gain practical experience and real world experience in a field that they're interested in through internships or experience-based workshops in career term and offering professional development help to students we want a balance of academics as well as skill building outside of the class to make the most prepared, uh, prepared professionals after graduating from Hendrix. It is college reinvented. Now to focus on a little bit about uh, uh, admissions and financial aid. Our only required materials are the application, your high school transcript and the essay that's attached to the application. We are a test optional institution, so you do not have to submit test scores for admissions purposes. Hendrix also offers fine, uh, generous scholarships, financial aid, and competitive aid opportunities. Uh, and we also offer uh, need-based aid based off of the FAFSA. You can start applying to Hendrix as soon as August 1st, so be ready for that application to be released soon. If you have questions, I'll be open, uh, I'll be monitoring the chat box, and you can connect with me below. Talk to me, let me know what you need, and I'm happy to help out. Thank you for listening to Hendrix College. Excellent, thank you. Uh, next up is Neosha Community College. Hi, I'm Amy Morris, Director of Admissions at Neosho County Community College. 
We are located in Chanute, Camp Kansas and in Ottawa, Kansas. So this is just a little quick uh, information about us. To start off with our academics, we are a two-year degree program school, so there are lots of different certificate options or degrees that you can choose on your path to uh, finding where you want to be. To complete a certificate, it usually takes less than three semesters, anywhere from one to three, and these will help you move directly into the workforce. We offer many different options for single level certificates. Aerostructures and industrial maintenance technology are actually two of our new programs that are coming this fall. We also have several multiple levels uh, certificates where you can earn a level one or a level two certificate. Then we offer four different degree programs here at Neosho. It takes 64 credit hours to earn your associates with us, and we focus on programs uh, that can help you transfer into a four-year degree situation, like these that I'm showing right now, or we also have several that can move you either directly into the workforce or you can go on to a four-year program. Our paralegal program is one of our newer programs that's going to start in this fall. Some of these programs are campus specific. We offer some either on our Chanute campus or we offer them in our Ottawa campus, or we do have the paralegal, which will be online, as well as our health information technology program, which is majority uh, online. Our general studies is just what it sounds like. It's for those students who are wanting that upper education degree without necessarily focusing on anything specific. Some of the quick facts about Neosho County Community College, we do serve right around 4,000 different students each academic year from right around 20 different countries from around the world. Small classes, flexible schedules, tutoring, and multiple locations are something we pride ourselves in. Most of our classes average about 11 students to one faculty member, so they're fairly small. We have classes going 52 weeks a year throughout the calendar year. I mean, every two weeks we have something new starting. We offer unlimited free tutoring for all current students, but yet we also have paid student tutor positions available for students who are uh, excelling in certain areas that might need the help. But if you need the help, if you're a currently enrolled student, whether you're in one credit hour or 21 credit hours, we will be able to find you that help for free. Uh, you can choose the site that works for you. We have many different locations uh, that we offer Neosho County Community College courses from our main campus in Chanute, which has the dorms, and we also offer sports at this location, to our commuter campus in Ottawa, where students drive in, take most of their classes during that day, and then drive back home that evening. We also offer an online campus for students to attend classes to uh, work with their flexibility to make sure that wherever they're at, we can, they can access our courses. And then we also have numerous locations throughout Northeast and Southeast Kansas that we offer Neosho County Community College courses. We do uh, use financial aid, so if you have that FAFSA completed, that it, you know, go ahead and select us. We work with grants, scholarships, loans, and part-time employment. Grants will be that many that uh, you can use for education that doesn't necessarily need repaid. There are some rare instances where that might happen, but some examples of those would be the Pell Grant or the FSEOG or the TEACH Grant. We also work with scholarships, which is a type of free money that's given to the ed for educational purposes by the institution or an outside organization. We also offer loans, which was money that uh, for education that has to be repaid with interest. We work with the federally funded unsubsidized, the subsidized, and the parent loans. And then we also offer college work study and community service opportunities for students. On campus, we've, re we've found that students who are more involved tend to be uh, more successful in the classroom. So ways we do that is through our residence halls. We do have two halls located on the Chanute campus. Anybody living in our housing receives 19 meals a week in our newly renovated NCCC cafeteria. Badeau Hall is our newest hall. It houses 213 students, and this is set up suite style. So you have two to three students in one room, two to three students in another room, and then those four to six share a toilet and a shower. Um, everybody gets their own bed, desk, dresser, 
and desk chair. There is free laundry in each hall. We have a movie room and a game room for students and then computers with free printing that are available to resident students. Then we have NeoCan, which is our oldest dorm. It houses 75 students and it's set up old school where you have two to three people in a room and then everybody on the floor shares a community locker style uh, bathroom situation. Again, they have free laundry rooms on each floor and a movie room with computers that are free for students to use. We also have lots of opportunities for students to be involved in different organizations, programs, and uh, we have on the Chinook campus and the Ottawa campus. Things such as Honors Program, uh, the, the Mind and Body Club, Student Ambassadors, Phi Theta Kappa, Student Senate. Then we also have our Athletics Program. We are a part of the NJCAA, and then we also belong to the Kansas Jayhawk Community College Conference. We participate in 11 different intercollegiate sports at the regional and national levels. For men's sports, we offer baseball, basketball, cross country, track and field, soccer and wrestling. For the women, we offer basketball, cross country, track and field, soccer, softball and volleyball. And then for our co-ed, we also offer cheer and dance. Um, can, there are no fees that are required for application to NCCC. We also work on uh, a GPA basis so we can either place you in classes based on your GPA or on your ACT scores. The, our contact information is listed here. You can check out our website at www.neosho.edu or email us and then uh, our contact information is also located in the chat feature. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you so much. And our next presentation is from the University of Central Missouri. Okay, well, hi everybody, I'm Ashley. I went to UCM for my bachelor's and my master's, and I'm gonna be talking to you guys about um, University of Central Missouri. We are located in Warrensburg, Missouri. It's about an hour away from the Kansas City area. Um, we are a mid-sized school, um, Division II athletics. So what that means is we are also public, and um, we have a population of about 10,000 students. All our class sizes are going to be about 15 students on average. So for being a school as big as we are, our class sizes are actually um, pretty small. Some of our top five majors are going to be education, business, nursing, aviation, and criminal justice. Um, and from those programs, we also have about 150 other programs um, for you guys to choose. So one of the most important things with choosing a college is making sure that college has your major and then in addition to that, um, making sure that school fits with what you're wanting. So um, when I was looking for a college, it was really nice to have all that selection in terms of majors. So that way, if I decided to change my major, I still had other options to fall back on versus having to transfer. Um, I'll get into some of the other reasons why students choose UCM. We obviously have a study abroad program and an honors college as well. So if you're wanting a little bit extra of a challenge or something different. Um, we do have those programs. Um, our campus life is a super fun experience in general, but we have about 14 campus uh, residence halls. So um, they're all gonna be suite style. They are all the same dimensions. They are all the same size, um, same furniture, same everything. Um, and we are also voted the safest college campus for the state of Missouri. So um, that was something I personally really appreciated when I was going there. Um, everything's within a 10 minute walking distance. Um, you don't have to take a bus to get from one end to the other. Everything is located on our campus. So you're not having to drive to get from different things. Um, we also have a lot of dining options as well. So we have two dining halls as well as a bunch of different restaurants on our campus as well. Um, I'll get into some of our student organizations. So for every major that I showed you guys out of our 150 different majors, we have about 150 academic organizations that go with that. So for example, um, our aviation students, they have um, at least two organizations that go with them. So there's Women in Flying and then there's Alpha Eta Rho, the aviation fraternity. 
Um, we have community service-based organizations and Greek life is also a really big part of our campus. So we have probably about 20 different Greek chapters between men and women. Um, and then we also have random special interest groups as well. So like most colleges, you can make a um, club or organization if you don't see one that applies to you guys. Um, we are division two athletics, like I mentioned before, but if you are not wanting to play on the college level, um, we do have intramural sports. So if you're just wanting to play on more of a club team, these are going to be a really good option for you guys, and they are totally free for you guys to join. Um, one of the most important things for when you're in college is making sure you stay in college. And so what UCM has done is we are the only public institution in Missouri that created an accredited counseling center. Um, so you can go to every single uh, office on campus pretty much in one place. So you get free tutoring in all 70 different um, general education courses at UCM. So your math, science classes. Um, we also have uh, editing services from the Writing Center. There is free counseling and mental health services as well as free career counseling, as well as the um, Success Advising Center. So everything you guys need to be supported on campus, to be successful when you're on campus, UCM is gonna be able to provide that for you guys. Um, I'll get into our affordability. This is one of the main reasons why a lot of students choose UCM as well. Um, like I said, most important thing when looking for a school is making sure they have your major. I think the second most important thing is making sure it's affordable. Um, so I don't want to be paying back student loans for the rest of my life. Um, UCM, especially compared to schools nationally, in terms of our tuition, we are very affordable. So this is how we compare. Um, and this is our total yearly cost. So that is everything, textbooks, residence hall, meal plan, about 18000 per year. And that's going to be based on taking 30 credit hours. Um, for those of you guys who maybe don't live in the state of Missouri, I'm going to skip ahead to this chart right here. We have an out-of-bound state scholarship. So any state that touches the state of Missouri, you guys are going to be getting that in-state tuition. You don't have to do anything extra for that. It's just going to be automatic. Um, I'll get back into our scholarships. So one of the benefits of being a public institution is all our scholarships are very straightforward. So um, there's no We'll review it and see what you qualify for. You know what you qualify for going in. So um, if your ACT and GPA match on the scholarship chart, so um, you will be in these scholarship ranges. We do have an automatic scholarship process, so you don't have to apply for this. What you see is what you get. We also have test optional admissions. Like so many other colleges, um, we decided to go test optional, and we are keeping with that process moving forward. Um, it looks like I am coming up on my time, but that is pretty much what I wanted to talk to you guys about in terms of just UCM in general. So affordability, lots of different majors, and we're a public institution. Thank you. Awesome, thank you. And thank you to all of our presenters. Uh, we now have a few minutes for some Q&A. So I'll ask all of our presenters to come back on the screen and respond to this question. What advice would you give someone going through the college search process? And we'll start back up with uh, Friends University. And again, we'll, we'll start with uh, Anna from Friends University. Um, some advice I would give, um, just make sure that you are um, going to your top three to five um, favorite universities. Um, definitely check, like talk with financial aid, um, make sure that you are getting um, everything situated there. Um, and also make sure you go to the university that um, financially um, is affordable and doable and also um, just where you kind of feel at home at. I would definitely say um, to keep an open mind throughout the process and making your decision. If you asked early senior year Connor from New Jersey if I was going to school in Florida, I would have said no. Um, so definitely visit the university if you have the opportunity because that could really open your mind. 
I would encourage you to, like, like both reps said before me, Connor and, and Anna, get on campus, visit the school that you're interested in. But in addition to that, um, make sure that you're utilizing the resources that you have at your high school and also reaching out to the institution that you're interested in, getting contact information for advisors, talking to admissions counselors, seeing if they can get you in maybe on a one-on-one -on -one with current students as well. All of those things I think will help you make your decision going further. Yeah, I think just reiterating what everybody has said, I think visiting is very important and visiting a, a wide range of colleges. So private, public, uh, small, large is very important because you never know so much of what the college experiences is feel and, and feeling like you're at home or in a place that you really enjoy. And one of the only ways that you can really know that that's right is by being on campus and, and feeling it for yourself and, and there's a feeling that comes with it. Um, and then on top of that, knowing what resources your college or the colleges you're interested in are providing you and that you have access to. Uh, talk to your admission counselor, see who they can put you in contact with through the process uh, and, and talk to as many people and, and hear the, ask the questions as many times as needed to make the decision that's most right for you. As everybody else mentioned, definitely get on those campuses and go and see them. But also don't always let the financial, you know, definitely check out the financials, but don't let that necessarily scare you away. A lot of institutions offer their own scholarships, but there are outside scholarships available all over the place and in sometimes the most random of places. So while you do have to keep that financial piece in mind, don't let it always scare you off if that's one that you really think that's where you want to go. And I'm going to say something kind of different um, from what everybody else has said. Um, virtual visits are also a thing that is available to students. So I would definitely keep that in mind because it may not be feasible to visit every single college campus, but a good place to start is looking at their virtual visit options. So um, it's a good way to kind of narrow down before you actually go and visit those schools. Excellent. Thank you all so much for your answers. Um, we are almost at the end of this session. Um, so I want to say thank you to our presenters for all the great information that you shared. Um, and thank you to everyone who's joining us today. Uh, when you close this window, there will be a quick um, four question survey. And we really do appreciate your feedback. Also, this is just one of many sessions being offered as part of this college fair. So please do sign up for additional sessions. And in about a week, uh, you'll be able to find this session's recording at strivescan.com slash Kansas. So thank you. And that concludes this session of the College Fair. Have a great rest of your day.